Hi, I'm Mark Cleghorn. Welcome to the Photographer Academy. And today we're talking about the new Elinchrom One. Uh, this is the kind of the brand new design of head and everything else with it. If you're unfamiliar with it, let me just do a quick turn to the side. It's a, a, a mains powered um, studio flash as well as a portable flash as well. So in other words, once it's charged, we've got basically a battery within it that will allow to us uh, to shoot on location or wherever it is. I think something is banded around something like 7,000 images on minimum power or something like that, but don't take my word for it yet. It's brand new to us. So um, different in design and everything else. Let's go straight onto the back because I just want to kind of talk today specifically about uh, TTL. Uh, um, this is obviously new for me as far as using Elinchrom in TTL mode is concerned. Um, because we're usually using it in fixed kind of manual flash metering and so on. So let's just talk you through quick, uh, quickly how I'm going to work this day. And, and all day we've got a, a model coming in, Kelsey, and we'll be photographing with her pretty much with the Elinchrom ones all day and things. Anyway, switching on goes without saying. Notice though at this point there's no kind of leads coming into the head at all. And then straight away, it's basically um, on its last setting, it remembers that. It's all touchscreen on the back. Um, to the start, I want to actually change its group. So in Elinchrom, we get to choose frequency and groups. Um, my main light is usually used on group one. So I'm basically just going to touch it across. And that goes into group one, okay? Or I can use the dial. So once we've done that, uh, basically it's set itself. And because I'm going to work in TTL mode, I don't need to worry about any of the power settings on the back. Um, what I do need to do, though, is have an Elinchrom Skyport Plus, okay? So you don't often see this uh, in studio being used a lot because I don't really need the technology that is within here to just tell of light to fire or to increase lights to fire and so on. The one benefit of the Skyport Plus is that it allows me to tell different groups of lights to either fire or not, okay? So you often hear me talk about, I want group one or group four or group all or whatever it is. This allows me to choose what lights are gonna work and so on with it. So the first thing we need to do is kind of make use of the Skyport Plus. Now you don't often see this being used in studio, uh, even though it's basically there in my bag. Um, what this does, it allows me to have more options than basically telling either one group to fire or all groups to fire. The Skyport Plus allow, allows me to kind of go in there and basically change whatever I want to do. So if I just press the middle dial, basically that will illuminate it again. And I can either work um, into a TTL mode here, as you can see, just actually up on there. So I just press select on that one and then I'm pretty much there. Now, because all the lights are basically switched off, you can see when I take the photograph, nothing's going to kind of fire anyway. So back into here again, all I need to do is basically press the on and then this is going to switch all of the different groups on. And now if I just take the shot, basically that key light is going to uh, fire. And if I have another light uh, in the background as well on a different group, let it come live. Let's push this into group four. Okay. Um, then basically that is ready to fire as well. All right. So if I just take the shot, basically it's going to fire both of those lights without any trouble and things really. So thinking about the structure of TTL, we're usually used to TTL with speed, speed light technology. We also know that with TTL breeds some slight inconsistency of amount of power being fired by the flash as the viewpoint or the reflectedness of the light uh, kind of comes off the surface. So in other words, as I show more of a scene or less of a scene, the flash is going to see more of itself or less of itself. So hence, it's going to be looking at different areas of the photograph to say, yes, I've got enough exposure or no, I haven't got enough exposure with it and things really. So basically, if we just um, take camera off um, bracket for a minute, before I do that, let's kind of just click back onto here. Let's um, go through the actual group. So just pressing group. And all I'm going to do is basically switch group two, group three, and group four, which is including that one, um, they're going to be switched off, so they're, they're not going to fire. So basically, if I come back into my group mode, um, basically I'm going to have a light that is going to fire. Okay, so it kind of 
it's, sim it's simple to use. However, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the camera off tripod for a minute, all right? And I'm going to just move the camera around the scene. And what it's going to do is because in TTL mode, uh, as I move the camera on the scene, these numbers on the back here are going to automatically change because remember, the camera is working in TTL mode communication. So if we just take a set shot for a minute, uh, we can see already it's now gone to 0 0.1. And as I move the camera around the scene, either uh, kind of zooming out or zooming in or moving it high and low, yeah? it basically has a different exposure each time. The real test of a good TTL though is consistency exposure, especially when the, the flash uh, is kind of in the same position and basically the camera doesn't zoom in and out too, too much. So if I was just to turn the camera around and point it at a flat surface for a minute and I just take the photograph, we're gonna see the work and exposure. Now look, because I'm not doing anything, if I zoom in, it doesn't change. Zoom out, it doesn't change very much. As soon as I kind of actually show it something different, in other words, now I wanna to photograph towards the, the background over here, basically what it's gonna do is try and get me more work and exposure. So TTL is never our kind of best friend, but it's given us a really good working exposure. When you think I was photographing um, and it was hitting something that was gray, something that is black, something that is continuous, something that is white in the background, basically it's trying to find that expo exposure. So if I could just turn that camera around for one minute, zoom in, and basically that's pretty much all white we're gonna see, yeah? And if I do the same thing, can you come back to this? You can see now it hasn't actually got enough light, but it has because it's made it gray. <laughs> That's weird because it thinks so you want kind of consistency. This is where if we come back onto the TTL now, so if I bring this up, yep, and all I need to do now is on the group one, so it's going to group, and then I'm just going to press it and I'm going to dial the dial to increase the exposure. Something like that needs around about two stops to become white. I know that through obviously trial and error and experience over the years. If I do the same shot. And now we look at the back of the screen, we can see that we've got white kind of creating the exposure. This is the purple background. This is the shadow of the purple background. This is the gray kind of white wall just actually there. But the main reflective wall, as you can see here, is basically getting a pure white with it. And that's how good a TTL is. So remember, the new Elinchrom 1 works not only in a kind of a manual flash way, so it has a consistent of exposure all the way through it, but it also can work in TTL if it's linked into the Elinchrom Skyport Plus. So um, the only thing that you've got to really think, think about is that when you're working with the new Elinchrom ones, you've got to decide on whether you're going to work in either a manual way or you're going to work in a TTL way. So in other words, if I just go from here and I just bring it alive again, I press the manual button on the side, then basically um, it's going to work off, T, off T, TTL. It's in manual exposure. When we want to work in it in TTL, we just press the TTL button and we can obviously then go into the full options running all the way through. Um, one of the good things as well with Elinchrom, the Skyports uh, Plus, is that we can switch the modeling bulbs on and off, in fact, from here. So if we just come back onto screen and then basically we go into group, just the left hand button here, we select the one that we want and then basically in the modeling lamp, if I just uh, switch it to on, off, it basically goes off. I'm not sure if you can see that. If I switch it on again, it comes on again, all right? So uh, that's a really good kind of technique as well to have in a facility, especially if you were working in some lower key environments where you want to see where the light is going to hit, but you don't want it as a part of the actual exposure, especially for long exposure images. Hope you enjoyed this film. See you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.